What's up everybody, Mark with Ecom Warriors. Today we're going to be talking about a video that I've created and I'm currently commentating over this video. This is episode 2 of the series where we're building a store together. As you can see, uh, what I'm doing on the screen right now is I'm cr accumulating the content that I need to create the products of the store. Right now, what you guys are gonna be seeing me is work through a few products and through a few objectives. So the first thing that I'm doing here is that I'm getting some images, right? The second thing that I'm gonna be doing is uploading the actual product, but I run into an issue right away, and this is what issues you guys are gonna run into if you're doing drop shipping, if you're doing, um, even if you're doing white label or any kind of other kind of business, the content that you have has to be pristine. It has to be perfect. It has to be, um, you know, flawless. That's really it. Can't be pixelated. It can't look bad. It has to look good. Now, with the content on oneeractive.com, I'm kind of in a sort of a pickle because a lot of their images, when I download it, comes out pixelated, as you guys will see. And so I kind of found a solution with that. With the amount of settings that are available within the Wolf of Shopify theme, you guys are going to be able to, for me to see um, what images I'm using, what images I'm deleting, what images I'm getting rid of, things like that for the store. So like, for example, an image like this, you know, I'm deleting it, right? And so you guys are seeing that on screen. Um, and now we only have two images. Also, in this video, I change the the product page design. And you're going to see this too. Uh, something that we added, well, what I'm doing right now on the screen is I'm copying and pasting descriptions, just filling out typical product information, right? Uh, by the way, with the theme that we currently have with Shopify, I wouldn't be doing product descriptions the way you're seeing on the screen currently. Um, a good example of this is like doing a regular base text type of uh, uh, description. That's not something I would do, um, at least not in the stores that are using the Wolf of Shopify theme. There's other themes that I would do that in, but not in this theme. This theme, like I said, I use it because it provides me high conversions. And you're going to see within Wolf of Shopify when we when we preview the product page, the description section, um, it, it, it stretches out for the full width of the page, which is very, very special. Not a lot of themes have that. Um, and the reason why that's very special is because if you're a creative-minded individual, you're going to use that space uh, in a very good way to build out your page. And you'll see once we preview. And I'll explain how it should be in the future, which, will, like I said, will be in a different video, different conversation. Um, I, I probably intend that this series is going to have multiple different parts to it and multiple different episodes because obviously um, people are, well, they're building a store, right? And so not everybody's going to do everything in one day. That wouldn't be smart. As you guys just saw right now, the description was full width. But anyways, um, what you're seeing on the screen is me looking through the product. So right now you're going to see me download the images and not every image is going to work for me in the same way that not every image is going to work for you. If you're doing drop shipping, something you want to realize is that you're going to have the same amount of content and images that everyone else has access to. That's something you want to be aware of. Um, the reason why I was successful when I did have my dropshipping store is I was able to reach models, clients, images, uh, photographers that were able to do things for me um, that you know, you know, allowed me to create more content for the website that was not only premium, but it was exclusive to me and my own thing, my own website, even though I was dropshipping the same products, right? And this was a while ago, right? I'm not in dropshipping anymore, but you guys kind of get the point. The nice thing about Shopify is you don't need to be dropshipping. You could do dropshipping if you want to. You could do anything else also if you want to, right? If it's not dropshipping. The point here is, is that there's a lot of things you could do. So, what I'm doing is I saved the images. Uh, I'm copying and pasting the description currently, right? And um, you're seeing this in real time. So this is the exact speed that it took me to get this stuff done, right? It's not like the speed is is a speed like it's not increased in speed or anything like that. And by the way, if this is your first store, you know, spending two three hours on a product if it's your first time is not a big deal. Like that's okay. That's normal. It's okay to make mistakes. And I have to stress that because there's this perpetuation on YouTube that 
everything's perfect, right? And everything uh, it gets done really fast. So what I did here is I assessed the product page, right? Immediately, I saw some things that need to change. So the first thing I did here was I selected a uh, style thumbnail left. Um, by the way, guys, you have to be aware of which, which different settings you select the way I'm selecting here. You want to save the setting and then preview it because sometimes it doesn't load right away and it and that's not even a bug that's just normal when you have a theme that's as complex as this one that's something you want to pay attention to um so something that i did was i selected a certain type of gallery image to be previewed within the product page uh and like i said here's a perfect example of the wide uh descriptions right for you know that that range to full width you could see that on the screen. Uh, that's something you want to take into consideration. Like I said, descriptions for me will never look like this. It won't just be just text. It has to be interactive. It has to be good to look at. It has to be informative without the person reading paragraphs and paragraphs of, of text. Okay? This is 2020. What we're looking at is 2020. Okay? 2020, it, it, nobody does that stuff anymore. Nobody just sits there and reads stuff. Okay? People's attention spans have decreased. Now, you might read stuff, but you you're an entrepreneur, you're a business person, you're not a consumer that's going to buy your own products, okay? You have to stop thinking like an entrepreneur, you have to think like a consumer would, okay? Believe it or not, not a lot of consumers read the full descriptions to the max, unless they're an untrustworthy customer, which in that case, they don't even become a customer. So you got to really study psychology, and you got to really understand, and, and by the way, when I say psychology, guys, I'm not talking about college class psychology. I'm talking about just thinking of the way people think okay as a consumer sometimes that's hard for us to do because it's been so long well we haven't been consumers what you're seeing on the screen is i enabled a special offer box right so i just think this is going to give a little bit more attention to the product and this is something that i do uh use in my own stores um like i said you could use it if you if you want to um you're not going to be able to do this if you're not using wolf of shopify theme so that's just let's just get that out of the way the wolf of shopify theme is the theme that i'm using for the specific uh, settings and the, the, the everything that's going on screen is meant for a reason. Like what you're seeing right now is all the content above the fold, right? Basically what above the fold just basically means is that without the person switching uh, pages or, or scrolling down, what are they seeing exactly? Does it have a call to action? Does it have images? Can they buy the product just off of what they see that's everything above the fold? And the answer is yes, absolutely, in this case, right? Because we have images. Now, in this case, I'm also deleting the pixelated images that I don't like. Would I keep them in in um, real time? Um, if this was my store, I would never have pixelated images. So let's just be clear on that. If this was products that I was actually selling, uh, I would never have pixelated images. However... Um, I like to put my best foot forward. I like to make things look good. And um, it's it has to be 100% for me. It has to be perfect. I am perfectionist in that way. Anybody who tells you you shouldn't be a perfectionist, that's not true. Because what that's going to do is it's going to decrease your conversion rate. The whole reason why we use the Wolf of Shopify theme is to improve our conversion rate, not decrease it, right? So what I did here was you're seeing the difference between the first iteration, the second iteration, and the third iteration. You see the difference of to as to how it looks getting rid of the products that are not needed, right? You could see the difference and everything is above the fold okay everything the sizes the add to cart the buy it now the upsell so the upsell only has one product as you're seeing here and it's going to increase as i increase the different kinds of products available all right so what you're seeing on the screen is me going back and performing a little bit more edits and a little bit more, you know, iterations to things like adding different sizes, removing, uh, you know, if, if stock is not tracked or if something's out of stock, I'll add stock to it. Like I said, because this is like almost like a, uh, I guess you could use the word demo kind of store where I'm demoing this YouTube free episode class or whatever you want to call it. Um, but like I said, in real life, everything would be accounted for. If this was my store where I was selling products, Everything would be accounted for. The stock, uh, you know, tracking, not tracking, all of that. All of that matters. So this is a perfect example where everything's above the fold. It's out of stock. I performed an edit, right? Um, and you're seeing me scroll down here looking at some things like what do I need to fix? What do I need to work on? Just making sure, okay, it's the product is out of stock. Uh, and and just get rid of, rid of all those links on my pages, okay? And... You're going to see me go down here, edit different pricing, different stock options, uh, different stock 
uh, settings for the products, um, such as one product was in draft mode, which is uh, unacceptable. Obviously, I have to make sure I complete all those edits. So for this episode, guys, what you need to do is before we move into episode three together as a group, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add the products. What I'm going to do on my own time, right, because you guys obviously don't need to see four hours of me editing products, okay, what you need to do is you need to add the sizing to your products uh, if, if, you know, your product happens to need sizing, right? Um, you want to add your product descriptions. You want to add your product titles. You want to add your product images. Make sure no products are pixelated. Make sure no products are hard to see. Make sure every product image is perfect. Don't leave it alone and don't say, oh, I'll get back to it. Make sure it's completely completed, com if that makes sense. Make sure everything is finished. Everything is done before we move on to the next step of the store. Like I said, we need our products done. We need to have a list of products that the website has and needs to get completed. All right. So for next episode, that's what we're going to be focusing on. You could see here, I'm doing it just like you. Now, on screen, you're seeing me doing it with one, two, three products. By next episode comes, by the time the next episode comes, you're going to see multiple products in the store. And I'm actually going to give you guys a tour and I'm going to give you a look around at what I did and how I did it, okay? But the thing to take away with this is that you have to make your uh, pictures and your things will kind of work for you, your settings. You saw here that I was only able to use two viable photos that were actually clear and crisp. So what did I do? Instead of going back and try to figure out how to download m better photos, I, I changed the settings to where everything is above the fold, right? I have a special offer box, right? Nothing is going to be below the fold. Everything is purchasable without even scrolling or changing the page, okay? Um, that's something you want to pay attention to. Like I said, a huge benefit of the Wolf theme, and I'll leave the link in the description box down below if you guys want to get it, and you should watch episode one if you haven't already because I kind of showed their website and stuff like that but anyways um uh with the theme is that it's very very versatile it just you know you have to pick and choose different settings you have to play with it not every single setting is going to work for everybody right like for example the countdown timer the reason why i cho chose excuse me the countdown stock timer the reason why i chose that that setting to be in my product pages is because I know that I want to create an ad that's related to that function, okay, where I want to create a limited stock ad. And from a psychological basis, that's going to work from an aspect of conversions. It's not going to work from an aspect of just like regular promotion. Like if somebody came to my website from Instagram and saw that every single product was low stock and stock was limited, it's going to, you know, let off some biases within the brain. It's going to be like, okay, this doesn't make sense. Something's up. Something's not right. Okay. And nobody's going to end up purchasing. However, um, like I said, it's called psychological lineup, right? You want to line up the events within the consumer's mind to make sure that everything fits into place. This is why when people who are, for example, lying within psychology, you can tell that they're lying because they want to qualify themselves, okay? Like, for example, they say, oh, no, I didn't go out on Friday because I did this and I did this and I did this. That's called qualifying. That's, right, you want to understand these psychological biases, these behaviors psychologically. It will make you a better marketer overall, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys in episode three. Let's get to it. Peace.